Rubber is out there with Clark. Then there's Bell. And it's Morgan in at the two spot. Reeves gets the bucket. And he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. And for the Barons. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. And here's Bell from the arc. Good on the three-point shot. Bell's got 36. Down the stretch. This is when they need him the most. And he is delivering. Pulls from the top of the key. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. And it's Kansas City's ball. Here's Reeves. Clark trying to get open. Another three for Kansas City. How about the range on that jump shot? I love seeing this guy when he's in form. Here's Morgan. And he uses both hands to jam it in. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greggy lures them into a trap on the steal, and then bang, straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Clatched in with the bucket. Three straight to begin this half. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. Passes to Bell. Rubber with it. Over Claxton. And another basket for Kansas City. And I really, I want to see more of that from him. I mean, he's been passing up on his shot more than usual, even though he's hitting the ones that he takes. Ross is checked in for Bell. Here's Tatum. And the dunk by Tatum. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. To be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgia, doesn't yeah. it? Here's Reeves, another three for Kansas City. And you couldn't have scripted a better start to the half. They've hit every single shot since the break. And Baltimore hits again from deep. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. There's the three, another three for Kansas City. And they have been relentless from deep and you see the defense trying to react but to no avail you know what they talked about this at halftime and they're doing a better job of creating space and the foul called on Terrence Ross that'll be his second foul of the game Pulls up on the elbow. Rebounded by Kansas City. And Kansas City pushing it up now. Here's Morgan. Another three for Kansas City. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Here's the floater. And it's good on the way in. He's got 16. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Another three for Kansas City. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. Outside Tatum. Count that bucket. And really at his best from mid-range. Tatum can create space and shoot up over his defenders. Took him no time at all on that one. Morgan's got 11 points here in just the second half. And don't be surprised if we see a lot more of that to come. I mean, when he gets going like this, it is not easy to slow him down. Boss against Porter. Six on the shot clock. Sees the alley-oop. Got a piece of it. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Baltimore making a switch here. Lillard outside. Pass to Weber. Over Tatum. Weber gets the bucket. Weber's got four points now in the quarter. Well, overall, they're the team getting the better looks here in this second half. For them, the first half was maybe more of a filling out process. Now it's winning time. The Knights making a switch here. Bonga's checked in. 
On defense, the Knights. Kicks it to Craig. A three-pointer is right on target. The defense decides to gamble off him, and he cashes in. And the pass to Morgan. Here's Bunga. Takes the three. Another three for Kansas City. Matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. And Lillard is going to pick up a foul. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, Tatum in position. How about the attitude Tatum has? I mean, if he has room to shoot, he is going to let it fly. Here's Morgan, another three for Kansas City. He has a lot of points from long range this half. He's taking advantage of a really tired defense. Poke loose, nabbing another steal. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. And how about that show of confidence from Tatum? He really excels at playing above the rim and taking that one home. And, and you can see he's found his rhythm here in the third quarter. You, you can just sense the uptick in confidence. Everything he puts up from long range seems to be gone. Tatum on the wing. Shoots over Weber. And the shot is long. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Dishes it to Tatum. And Baltimore again with the bucket. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. Here's Morgan, another three for Kansas City. And he gives up some size on that play, but the defender fails to close the gap. This is why you spend so much time devising ways to space the floor. If you can't, you don't get very far. Just using his size well close to the rim. Porter is outstanding at cashing in from those spots. A nice shot by Morgan. Putting on a clinic this score. I mean, what a tremendous outburst scoring one. Crab, that's for two. And good. You got the English that time as it falls. Crab's got five points now this quarter. And Lillard kicks to Robinson. And Lillard gets double teamed. Here's Morgan. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Lillard's got his ninth assist in the game now. Beautiful offense. Lillard creates time and again down the floor, whether it be for himself or for his teammates. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. And for someone who spends most of his time on the perimeter, Lillard's a terrific finisher inside. His moves to the basket aren't tentative. They are strong. It's tipped. Pass to Bunga. For the three. Good! Another from three. The three's coming fast and furious. He is scorching the net. Now G.A. tied for the third most three-point field goals in single-game playoff history. And finished off by Porter. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets, an exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. More and again for three. He's putting on a shooting exhibition that has left this entire arena slack-jawed. And Greg, he finds himself tied for second place all time and three-point makes for a playoff game. He swipes the ball away again. Again and again, he finds a way to seize possessions away. He's amazing. And now he's tied for second all-time G and steals for a postseason game. A four-way tie with Mookie Blade. And another steal for him. 
And he's now playing second all-time for steals in a playoff game. I mean, this is unbelievable how he's been able to impose his defensively. And nine steals placing him one shy of Allen Iverson's record for a single game playoff steal. And Baltimore going with a whole new group out there. And it's Davis with the ball for Baltimore. Passes it to Claxton. Looking to end the run. And it falls over the rim and in. They are enjoying the commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. Straight power, homie. I mean, he ripped it down <laughs> with both hands. Absolutely a resounding dunk. Pass to Davis. And the layup's good off the glass. Davis has got four points now in the quarter. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Here's Plumley, And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. plumley has got six points. And there's a minute 45 left in the third quarter of the game. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Defense, for me, just hasn't made the commitment to sprint back in transition, and that's why you see such a huge differential in fast break points. Clark, he's checked in for Kansas City. Bell comes in for Sexton. Here are the Barons. Knocked loose. One-on-one -on -one fast break. And he jams it with authority. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greg, he lures them into a trap on the steal, and then bang, straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. And the dunk to finish it off. Ah, oh, beauty. Now that's some hang time. What a pretty double clutch move. Agree, Greg. You can afford to get fancy on your way up when you've got that kind of space. It's tipped. They retain possession. First trip to the line for him here. That's and he knocks down the first one. Two shots. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Bangs on the trifecta. When he gets a good look at the basket, Ross has no problem drilling a three. And then Clark slams it in. Not just swinging the ball around the perimeter. Aggressive move inside. There's the pass to Ross. Here's the three. Another three for Kansas City. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. And it's Davis with the jam. 30 seconds left to play in the third. Another three for Kansas City. Picking up from where he left off. I lost count of how many threes he hit in the first half. Now nails this one. Ross with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Plumlee's got it. He dishes it to Ross. Plumlee in the post. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. That free throw, no good. Mason Plumlee. So he comes up empty. Missing both. Pushing it up with some arc. And he lays it up and in. 18 points for him. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. And so it's Kansas City with a huge lead at the break. Safe to say there's no.